So inbound methodology is tailoring your sales process on the way people make buying decisions. As an engineer, you're going to be in sales. You're going to be doing the same thing that people in professional sales do every day. Technology is affecting the way engineers think, the way they fix problems, the way they address issues, right? Technology has affected sales. German American Fulbright Commission asked us uh, to develop a new program, which is short, only three weeks, and it is to designed to introduce uh, engineering students to the concept of entrepreneurship. So uh, we bring the students here, they get to know our engineering program at LSU, but uh, they also hear about uh, some of the basics of entrepreneurship and uh, they also uh, got to apply those principles in, uh, uh, during a weekend when they develop a project. Hello everybody, uh, my name is Henrik Baumark. I'm from Germany and I study industrial engineering. Um, is everyone here a motorcyclist? Uh, have you ever thought about a bike tour and you got an accident and no one is around to call that emergency? What happens then? Uh, the highlight in a way was a startup weekend. First, I wasn't so glad that we would participate because um, I would have appreciated to have a little bit free time, but at the end the startup weekend was a great experience. My team <laughs> took fir first place and it was very cool. Uh, I've never believed it, but yeah, it was a great experience, of course. Well, for our German students, I mean, it, it is designed to introduce them to engineering entrepreneurship, but uh, we also have a cultural component where they get to know Louisiana, um, the, the Louisiana's history and Louisiana's culture a little bit better. Uh, but we also have a buddy program, and the buddy program uh, introduces the students to other students here at LSU. Uh, but of course, we also designed it in such a way that we are trying to interest our American students in the possibilities of studying uh, in Germany specifically for a semester or a year. I uh, emailed my buddy Micah um, and before and try to get a little more detail about what she likes to do and things like that. Um, she likes the outdoors so we definitely made it a point to go bike around the lakes and go out and have some fun. We went to um, the Bulldog and got some, some good pretzel and good good meals and stuff. So And we're both into food so we just ate a bunch of food and hung out and stuff. was the trip to the Oak Valley and to the Laurel Plantation because we got to know the, the history of this region and the houses and the buildings were very beautiful. Die Amis haben Louisiana gekauft für 15 Millionen. Warum jetzt super GAU? Naja, immer noch Kreolisch, Französischsprachig und so. Und dann kommen diese Amis daher, wie eher auch in meinem Leben, ja. Die sprechen kein Französisch, ich spreche bis heute kein. Äh, die, die waren noch nicht katholisch, ja, eigentlich bist du katholisch. Die haben einfach sich mit dem Kreol überhaupt nicht verstanden. So, wie sagt man das Geschäftshaus hier? Ne? Und man weiß es heute noch, äh, man sieht es heute noch im French Sport, da gibt es ja auch diese, diese alten kreolischen Häuser, ja, die haben keinen Flur. Das ist natürlich nicht Bruce 
she was upset and intimidated because people were teasing her like that. Trying to stay efficient with the time and stuff. I'm stopped right now, it's okay, but especially when the boat's moving, I need to see where I'm going. And then, too, if I hit a stump or something, I don't want you to lose your balance and fall out. From all of the size widget we made, um, we made was the widget to BSF, the yeah, the most interesting one, because in general or on the side of inter engineering, I'm more interested in chemical engineering than all the other kinds of engineering, and so BSF was a great chance to see how um, a further job in this field could look like. Um, it's a huge facility and we uh, were able to visit the control room and uh, the staff member answered all of our questions which was really interesting. In 1961, Yuri Alexeyevich Gagarin, the Soviet Union, became the first man in space as he orbited the Earth in his Vostok 1 capsule. An incredible achievement that really inspired the world. I'm an aerospace engineer, so I want to do. I, I want to work in this field later. So I, for example, I asked him for how, to, how, if I can do an internship there, and how can I apply for it. And it was really interesting to see how they work where they work and, how, and at which equipment do they have and things like this. The American Indians, you're stealing my soul. <laughs> or a little piece of it. So. What Philip was saying is they had to raise it up about 40 feet and refurbish all of it. Had to put new steel on it, make sure that everything was structurally sound and raise it up about 40 feet so that it will accommodate the first stage. A really special moment in this program was our presentation at the end because it was quite um, spontaneous and it was a really good exercise in giving presentations in an English language regarding a professional topic you worked on f before. This program is, is, I think, really good for uh, the German students because it's introducing them to concepts that uh, will prove valuable throughout their lives. For our American students, it's great because it gives them a broader perspective, particularly the buddies who uh, meet and interact with the German students. It gives them a perspective of some internationalism. How enjoyable it's been to, uh, to meet these uh, young folks. And you know, last year and this year, I, I've been just very pleasantly surprised with how gracious they are. Generally, Fulbright does a really, really nice job in sending us excellent students. So um, they, uh, they think uh, um, very well, they think along, uh, they uh, are able to understand the concepts behind uh, uh, the content that we want to, uh, to give them. And um, they're also very, very interested in everything. They ask lots of questions. And uh, all of my colleagues uh, really, really enjoy the students here and really enjoy having the group here on campus.